Hey guys, Erica here, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today to share with you um, a little bit of happy mail I put together for my friend Shabby Pinkhouse. Her birthday is November the 7th, I believe, and I wanted to surprise her with some little birthday goodies. So uh, I just want to quickly share with you the handmade card that I made for her. Um, this is my attempt at Shabby Chic. This is... Um, not really considered my style, but I know Christine loves um, shabby chic, and I really wanted to give her something that I know that she likes. So this is what I came up with. Um, I did um, use some Anna Griffin paper. I used her favorite Spellbinders die that she typically uses in her cards. I figured out I would, I would incorporate that into her card. Um, I added some trim, some seam binding, this really pretty lace butterfly. I'm not sure who gifted that to me. Somebody, I think, did. Um, this is a Celebrate die by Spellbinders. This paper dress, please do not ask me how I made it, honestly. I watched a three-minute tutorial. If you type in paper dress on uh, YouTube, you'll see like the three minute or four minute tutorial that someone has up on YouTube. I don't even know the lady's name. Um, I was very difficult to understand. So I took what she showed and I just attempted to make something of my own. This is nothing like the one that she shared. Um, so yeah, um, basically what I did was I used a scalloped, uh, I think Sizzix die. I folded it in half and then I just made a bunch of folds. <laughs> and that's what I came up with. And then I used a heart die, which is a Sizzix Spellbinders uh, scalloped heart uh, die. And then I used my My Creative Time um, bow die. And then I added this pretty bling in the center, which I believe Christine actually gifted to me one time or another. Um, so yeah, and that's how it came out. I really like the way it came out. It is a little dimensional, so it does pop off the card. And I think that's really extra cute. And I hope that she likes my uh, attempt at Shabby Chic. I did frontage the edge of some of the paper and I did um, sand it with one of the little sanding tools to try to make it look Shabby Chic. <laughs> and then this is the inside. I wrote her a little note and used that die again for the inside. And then this is the back of the card, which I still need to stamp my handmade stamp on. So she's gonna receive this really pretty card. And then I did make her a birthday wand inspired by my friend Armin, who's Happy Mail Queen. She um, has got me into making these birthday wands. So um, that's the back, it says eat cake. Isn't that cute with that gold music paper? And then on the front, it just has that really pretty uh, Winnie and Walter die that, um, that I have in my stash. I love that die, it's so pretty. Uh, Decorate Your Life gifted me that die. So hey Sandy, if you're watching. Um, and then I just used some seam binding and some pretty polka dot um, trim for the bow, some Michael's bling, and this is Anna Griffin paper that I use. It's the shabby as I'm gonna get. <laughs> So yeah, I love the birthday wand. I hope that she has something to stick it in or she can just put it in her crafty space and um, enjoy it. So that is that. And then I also have a little bit of um, trims that I put together for her. And then I've got a bunch of little goodies in this little package right here. And then I'm also gifting her this handmade um, paper bag that I made a while back. Um, I just figured this would be appropriate for Christine and it's a little shabby and it's pink because you know she loves pink. So I really wanted to give her this handbag. I actually wanted to give it to her. I think the last time I sent her some mail, but I don't know what happened. It just, I just didn't do it. But anyway, um, I'm going to gift her this and there is a tutorial on how to make this paper bag. I guess I can link the video of when I shared this purse and it'll probably have the information in that video. All right, and then on the inside, I just have a few little goodies for her, and then I did make her these handmade um, scalloped hearts, again, using the Spellbinder scalloped uh, heart die, and I did layer it about two or three times on 110 pound cardstock, and these are just hearts that she can use as an embellishment or maybe even for packaging up Happy Mail or something like that, and I just thought it was pretty, and, um, that is it. I hope she enjoys this little bit of happy mail that I'm sending her. Um, thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll see everybody in my next video. Bye for now.